why don't Jews believe in Jesus as a Messiah? So there are many, many reasons and many ways to explain this. I'm just going to take one reason and explain this briefly. And the idea is like this. There are many religions around the world. Many people think that there are superior beings, gods, whatever. So many religions. You have Judaism, Christianity, you have Buddhism, you have Hinduism, Islam, all kinds of things. That's fine. There's not a problem with that. Now, Judaism and each one of them has its own traditions. That means we believe in one thing, they believe in a different thing, and it's everything is okay with whatever you believe. So my purpose about this class is not to change anybody's mind, not to bring anything that, that is really new. I just want to inform. I just want to let know what Judaism thinks. Now, because each religion is based on its own traditions, so you cannot take the tradition of one religion and say, I'm going to change that. I'm going to tell you what it really means. Why is that? Because that's, that's religion tradition. You cannot actually explain in a different way what they say their tradition is. Now, this is exactly what Christianism wants to do with Judaism. They want to take their texts, their books, their ideas and their traditions and say this actually means something else that they never understood. Now somebody came and actually explained the things that re the way really they are. What, what do I mean? So let's take just one verse from the Bible, from the Torah, one verse, and with that verse we can explain why Judaism doesn't believe in Jews, in Jesus. The idea is like this. The text says in Deuteronomy 30, number 28, the verse says that the hidden things are for God, our God, and for our for our and for our children to do the words of this Torah. What are the words of this Torah? It, re it refers to all the mitzvot, all the commandments of the Torah. 613 commandments, 248 commandments that you have to go do something, 365 commandments you have to not do something. Okay, that's what it's talking about. That means for all the times, this is what the verse says, you have to do what the Torah says. All the times means there's no situation in which any of the commandments actually change. What does that mean, change? Sometimes a commandment applies to a certain situation, a certain place, a certain time. Sometimes it doesn't apply to that situation at that time. But that doesn't mean that it changes. The commandment is still active, just the commandment was given under certain conditions. Let's take one example. One example is like this. There's a there's this festival called Pesach. Pesach remembers coming out of Egypt. So how does how do Jews actually commemorate this time, we eat something called matzah. It's a small bread, whatever, it doesn't make, it doesn't make a difference what it means. Now, can I eat matzah today, that it, today is not Pesach? Yeah, I can eat. Is that a commandment? The answer is no. Why not? The Torah says you have to eat matzah. The answer is very simple. As there's a specific time of the year, a specific day, a specific night of the year, you're supposed to be eating matzah. The whole night? No, just a little bit of it, but whatever. That commandment has a certain condition in which it applies. Now, all the commandments have their conditions, their situation, but it doesn't mean that they change. They don't change. Now, Jesus came and he changed commandments. He said, look, nowadays we don't have to do with this anymore. I came to explain to you what actually this means. And he changed everything. What does it mean he changed everything? First of all, he said, look, you cannot go to the Father if you don't go through me. What is that written in the Torah? What is that written in the Bible? I mean, who are you to put yourself in the middle? Ah, you say your son's God. Ah, you say you are God, whatever, all kinds of explanations. But we don't believe in that. And that was, that's our tradition. So you cannot come and change our tradition because you think you are, or some people say that you are, that you think, etc. A different point. He said, look, important things is not what comes into the mouth, it what, it's what comes out of the mouth. That means that all the laws of eating, the Judaism is 
full of it. What you can eat, what you cannot eat, when can you eat, etc. How can you eat, how much you can eat. All those laws became disappeared, <laughs> completely disappeared, because it doesn't matter what you put in. It just matters what you come out, what comes out of the mouth. And then there's another verse which is very interesting that actually destroys completely all the laws, completely and absolutely. This verse is in Romans 7, 6. The verse is very simple. Now we're free of the law because somebody died for us, for the sins, whatever, and now we don't have to fulfill any of these laws. Now, this is clearly taking out all the laws of Judaism. Now, again, let's go back to the first verse. The first verse said, forever we have to fulfill and keep these commandments. Us, our children, etc. Forever, what does it mean? Forever. It's never going to change. Now, you want to make a new religion. You want to say that anything you want to say, it's fine. Islam says that, and Buddhism says that, Hinduism does that. It doesn't matter. You can do anything you want. But you cannot take Judaism and its tradition and change it. This is the, the word, the key, key word here. Change it and say, I'm going to explain how it works. I'm going to say what it is, etc., etc. This is just one of the reasons Judaism does not believe in Jesus. Because he came, even though he said he didn't come to change anything, he came to fulfill things. Okay, you can say whatever you want. But we see... Actually, they changed everything. How do we see that? Because you see, Christians do not fulfill the laws of Jews. Now, Christians can come and say, there's a certain part of us that we actually fulfill it. You can say whatever you want. This is not our tradition. It, our tradition is pretty clear in the Torah, in the oral Torah, in the written Torah. It's very clear. And, it, and it's our tradition. You cannot say, I'm going to explain to you what your tradition actually is. What do you mean? I know what my tradition is. It's been there. It's been like that for thousands of years. So this is just one reason, maybe the most powerful, why Jews do not believe in Jesus.